morning everyone so there's nothing here so today i want to talk about two specific channels that i'm frankly are basically linked together they originally posted the same video about me um i don't know for a fact for certain who's making these channels or who's making these videos but the question is is that we've got ones called the new one's called the cookie stealer and Nathan Andrew Skiddy. But then we I know for a fact that that name, Nathan Andrew Skiddy, sounds very familiar from the last time about um a video and a channel was under that name. And more precisely, the, um, the comments from the Cookie Stingler and also from Samuel himself or herself is basically making the exact same comments or somewhat different comments but pretty much under very much the same topics saying to me that i'm predator which i'm not so i also want to discuss in this video as well because i might as well just do it for the sake of it is that these people um who are doing these videos about my people they say to me that my child was molester raping children, having sex with them, but I'm not. And then, the, what these type of videos are, the shorts, rather than like long clip videos, the shorts, and the um, making hashtags in order to get maximum views, and to try and expose me, or blackmail me, in a way of saying, well, Nathan Smitty is a, is a rapist, he's a, he's a paedophile. But again, where is the evidence, people, to prove it? When there's none. I know if I fact I'm not PFL. But there again, how's the public gonna believe me? Well like people well, like most people would have said to me, Well, if he was he wouldn't be he would be locked up, wouldn't he? Well exactly, I'd be locked up, wouldn't I? But I'm not. I'm still here. For now. Safe and sound. But it is getting to the point, people, where if any people in person calls me to pay the hell, um, I'm not sure when, but I will kill them. I will get the opportunity when they're online, I'll kill them. Because I am fucking sick to death, people. Are people like them twats getting away with it? Where, where's the justice system, people, to protect people with disabilities? There's none. Absolutely sweet fuck up people. I've been victimised. God knows how many times by the justice system I've been fucking let down ever since I was attacked on red car crossings on one specific night I was kicked in the head. Where's the justice in that? All she got was a curfew and to stay away from me. Wow. Where's the fucking prison sentence? Again, she should have got fucking life because out to me, I'll class that as attempted murder. She's at every attempt to try and kick, kill me. By kicking me in my head, and which you also know that you can see right there, where my finger is right there, is a dent, and that's there for the rest of my life. No thanks to Bitchface, Dion Hotwood, and Andy Jones. Unfortunately, people, I didn't actually have a body camera at the time, and speaking of body camera, I still regret to this fucking day, I wish I didn't sell it. Because I know for a fact that having a body camera always kept me safe. But then people say, oh, are you recording me now? Are you recording my children? No, I am not. I'm recording for my own fucking protection. That's what I'm fucking doing it for. I don't go around people filming children. I don't go around filming but on YouTube unless I have a specific reason. Such as if I want to walk around the streets and just record or do a live stream and hopefully like, you know, aim up promote these businesses. And, you know, give people the feedback and what they think about the community or if there's anything they want to say to me or to the video or anything like that. But, yeah, people, I mean, it's getting absolutely fucking out of control, literally. Yeah, I don't know what to say, people. It's sick. It's absolutely just sick to the head. I'm surprised if that twat faced his eyes to take a mugshot off this fucking video. 
And then making another one said, oh, look, Nathan's a child master. Nathan's an armor rapist. Nathan's a fucking murderer. Nathan's a fucking terrorist, which I'm not. But again, people, people will always like, act now and think later. When it should be think now, act later. But in my situation, it's going to be act now and think later. Because, as you already know, people, I am sick to fucking death of people accusing me of being all sorts when there's no proof. And again, I've already been called paedophile in front of a, one particular person. Um, he basically asked me face to face, eye to eye, saying, Are you a paedophile, mate? Thankfully, I persuaded him for him to not assault me, but I could just tell. He literally, people, he literally wanted to hit me. Only because a group of lads said, he's a paedophile. And what do they do? They point the finger right at that person. So I had the opportunity to strangle that person, strangle that kid, and I threatened him. I threatened to kill him. And I said to him, and my exact words I can remember, if you call me a paedophile again, mate, right, I'll make sure you will not see the light of day again. And ever since then, I've never seen him. Too bad I didn't do to that lad with his fucking shitty cap on and his little specky glasses on. I should have killed him. I should just broke his neck. Even though I'll be done for murder. But hey, hell, it's one less kid that we have to fucking worry about because then, you know, it goes to show I'll take no fucking shit from anyone. I don't care how old they are. I don't care who they are. I'll fucking do it if I have the opportunity to do it. Because why should I have my life pose that risk? Because some dickhead decides to act being like a cunt and said, this person's a pedophile. Well, they're not. Again, where's the fucking proof where you don't fucking have it? I'm playing again, we often got willing of society people where no fucker cares. It's all like one man for themselves. Free for all, if anything. Yeah, it's like a free for all. Where's the support when we need the people? There's none. So, yeah.